Hello everyone and welcome to week four of the Pappy Van Winkle range here at the Whiskey Jar. Um, there's not much to tell you about this, uh, there's just like a couple of key facts. It was launched in I think 95 or 96, um, but one of the most important things about it is that it was the first ever whiskey, I think, or the, no, the second ever whiskey, but the first American whiskey to score 99 out of 100 by the BTI, which is the, secu uh, the Chicago Beverage Testing Institute. Um, there's a few things since then that have got 99, I don't think anything's ever got 100. Um, reluctantly, it was retested a couple of years ago by the boys at Van Winkle, and it scored 99 again. So we're hoping for pretty big things for this. Um, it's 20 year old bourbon, it's really rare. I've never ever tried a 20 year old bourbon before, um, so this is kind of brand new to me. It is again 90.4% proof, 45.2% ABV for us here in Europe. Um, yeah, let's have a smell, let's have a taste, let's see what's going on. It's significantly earthier. Something we've chatted a little bit about from the 12 onwards was like this kind of savory tobacco kind of earthy note. And this has elements of that. It's, um, it's tobacco and kind of like, what can we call them perhaps? What would you use the name from? It's a vegetable. Peppers, like bell peppers. It smells like you, know, you chop into a bell pepper, that kind of vapor, that water vapor shoots up at you. Kind of reminds me a bit of that. But the biggest note I'm getting off it here is watermelon. It's, it's really, really exotic. Really refreshing, it smells kind of summery. Again, not what you expect for a 20 year old virgin oak matured bourbon use, but it's really dark and bitter and spicy. But yeah, watermelon, bell peppers. All sorts of weird, funky stuff going on with that. Loads and loads of butter, which is something we talked about in the 15 year old. And just loads and loads of cream, kind of candied corn. It's, it's caramel sauce and it's richness. Huge flavor. That's just on the nose. Let's see what it's like on the taste. Initially really sweet. Significantly sweeter than any of the previous three we've tried. But then it turns into that really oaky spice driven style. We talk about 20 year old single malt whiskey, you know, Scotch, Irish, Japanese, whatever you like. Um, but when we start talking about 20 year old bourbon, it's not a phrase you can use a lot. It's hot. And that spice really, really pulls through towards you. And it's not bitter, it's not unpleasant, but it is quite drying. It kind of feels like you're and kind of licking the inside of a barrel almost. But we're bourbon drinkers, so in a pleasurable way. But yeah, the taste is initially so sweet. It's, it's like milk chocolate and raisins and honey. It looks kind of sort of Christmassy flavors going on with it. Again, the only real contrast point we have to this is, is like equivalently aged single malt. And it does have that kind of Dalmore, Macallan um, vibe with it. It's quite Christmassy, it's very rich, it's very fulfilling. So the smell, it's watermelon, it's honey, it's raisins. It's really kind of sweet and lovely, but there's slightly vegetal notes coming through it. The taste is initially really, really, really sweet. Again, honey, milk, chocolate, raisins. And then the taste is that dry kind of oaky barrel spice. Um, it's in a world of its own. There are some other older bourbons, like the Willets and stuff, but they're impossible to get hold of and it's quite difficult to contrast them. Um, so purely basing this on what it is on its own, uh, again, I think it's a solid nine. The, the complexity and the overall flavor profile is genuinely very, very, very lovely. Um, I would be quite happy to have a bottle of that on the shelf. Uh, retail price, or recommended retail price, 170, which again, isn't too bad for what it is. So overall, solid nine out of 10. Happy Van Winkle 20. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next week.